What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. My fiance just got a new park for our Subaru Crosstrek. It is a primitive racing front skid plate. So today I'm going to be showing you how it's installed. A couple things I like about this specific skid plate is it's extremely heavy duty. It's 3 16 inch 5052 aluminum. It does weigh a little heavy but I'd rather have the peace of mind that um, the bottom of my engine has extra protection. It does have a polished finish to it. So it's shinier than a raw finish. Uh, it's also easier for it to stay clean. Um, it's got some ventilation. So if you have an oil leak, it won't collect in the center of the pan. Uh, it's got this insulation that does keep it from rattling against the bottom of the engine uh, very heavy duty and well built give you an idea of the welds it's going to be the mounting points it's held up by four um or two studs and two bolts i'll show you that when we're installing it the front and rear edges are rolled upwards so it's harder for the skid plate to get caught against the rock, like on a trail. One gripe I do have about this specific one that we got is it does not have the option for the drain hole that's pre-drilled. So uh, whenever I do oil changes, I am gonna have to physically remove this to gain access to the drain plug, which is a little inconvenient. If you don't wanna have to remove your skid plate, Whenever doing oil changes, I suggest you get the option with the drain hole. The kit came complete with a bag full of all the hardware you need, along with a very easy to follow set of instructions. The two longer studs are used to be screwed into the um, subframe for the front mounting points. Uh, the larger washer goes between the stud and the subframe. And then the smaller washers and lock nuts are going to go on the um, bottom side of the plate. And then for the rear mounting points, you're securing it with just the longer bolts and the smaller washers. Pause the video if you do want to follow this simple diagram. It does look like this skid plate kit is not just cross track specific, but this part number is shared with a couple different Subaru models, such as 2008 or later. Uh, WRX and STIs, 09 plus Foresters. The installation should be very straightforward. We're gonna start by lifting the front of the car, removing the plastic under tray and putting this on. Let's get started. From factory, this is the flimsy plastic that you have to protect the bottom of your engine against rocks on the trail. These are the four bolts that we're gonna have to remove with a 12 millimeter socket and wrench. And then we're gonna remove these plastic clips with a flathead screwdriver or trim tool if you have one. Once you have the under tray fully removed, you're gonna to wanna to remove these two plastic spacers on the um, radiator core support. Just pull this side down with your hand and then stick a flathead screwdriver in this slot and pry down. This is the slot I'm referring to. Surprisingly, I did not break anything taking this under tray off, so there should be two smaller bolts. These are the mounting bolts for the back of the factory under tray, longer bolts for the front, two washers, or um, two spacers for the radiator core support, and 11 plastic clips. The easiest ways to um, take these off without breaking them is to take a flathead and 
jam it in between one of these slots and pry upwards till the center piece comes up and then you can take the actual clip out by hand or pry it out with this trim tool. I am gonna keep the factory under tray for the meantime since I may consider keeping the side portions. I've read that uh, you can potentially modify the side part to fit with the skid plate. So I might give that a shot later on. So I'm gonna keep this for now. First, we're gonna install the two studs that they provided with the largest washers onto the um, radiator core support where you took the spacers off. And then we're gonna tighten that about 12 to 15 foot pounds with this 12 millimeter right on this welded nut. And then we're gonna uh, slide the under tray under there, put it in position and uh, screw these smaller washers and lock nuts in place to keep the uh, front aligned while we install the rear hardware to raise the rear in place. And then we're gonna tighten everything all at once. Before we slide the skid plate down under the car and mount it on this, we're going to want to reinstall the clips that secure the bumper to this plastic piece. So it's going to be one, two, three, four clips on the front. And then you're going to want to install the clips for the fender well um, trims so they don't flop around in the wind. There are two different size clips, so make sure that when you're inserting that fits pretty snug and then it snaps right in and does not fit loosely. Last step is torquing the mounting bolts with a 13 mil socket and um, a torque wrench set to 14 foot pounds.
if you enjoyed today's video or found it helpful in any way, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you want to keep up with the Subaru Crosstrek Overlander project or any of my other projects such as my Lotus or my BMW, consider subscribing to my channel. But for today, this is going to be it. Thank you for watching.